if the ankle is cold when you tape it and they run out onto the field, what happens to the muscles of the lower leg when you start running and warming up? They're going to expand just a little bit. And if you've taped a cold ankle, it's going to be a little uncomfortable when it's out there warming up and it's expanding and the tape is pretty restrictive. We're going to do our exercises. We're going to spray well so it's sticky. She's got a nice calf muscle and you can see right where it tapers. We want to start our anchors at the musculotendinous junction. Here's our calf. Slide a little bit this way. Right there. Come right to here. Right there. That's right. And it's going to be different on each person. Higher or lower depending upon your calf muscle. We'll put a heel and lace pads to ease the pressure here. I like to use the under wrap to hold the heel and lace pads and to facilitate cutting off the tape. I want you to hold your foot in neutral. She could go more dorsiflexion. She could go eversion, inversion. I want to taper in neutral, just like so. Yes, when you learn to tape with this tape, you can tape with anything. It's not the easiest to tear, but you'll learn. Hold from it just like so. That's where I want to begin my anchors. Notice my angle. Angles are pretty important with ankle taping. I'm going to overlap a half with the tape. Just like so. And to make it stick a little bit nicer, since we didn't use any pre-tape spray, I'm going to put on three or four anchors. So we have position neutral, spray adhesive, heel and lace pads, under wrap, two to three anchors on the skin. I only put one because I was trying to be nice to your skin. Right there. I'm going to start medial hold it down and my key is I want to grab the calcaneus with every single stirrup. And she's got short lower legs so I'm not going to come up too high. If I come up high I'm going to constrict her muscle. She's not going to like this. She can't dance and do all the things that she wants to do as a jazz dancer. Okay, hold this for me. So anchors, stirrup or vertical. I start medial and I pull lateral. And you could feel me pull, correct? It's holding you there so to prevent inversion. And so that's what stirrups do, is they prevent inversion. At a 45 degree angle, I'm going to come around the back, hold it on, spiral, keep your foot up, spiral around, and come back to where I started, just like so. So that's a ankle lock, the first one. Look at the angle I changed for my first horizontal or first collar. Here's the malleolus. I start a width below the malleolus. Here, when I was up here, I tapered like so. Now I'm all the way changed. From here, now I'm. Okay. Now I'm going to come around. I'm going to overlap. I'm going to do my second. Nice, stay right there. Do my second stirrup. I'm going to do my heel, my second heel lock going the other direction. And you can feel that pull into E version, can't you? Yeah? And come right back up. And then I'm going to do my second and you can see I overlap a half at least a half with the tape third. I'm going to do four because I want to come up with the tape above the malleolus. So these bumps are the malleolus. I'm going to start a with the tape below and finish a with the tape above. Right? Okay. Those are my... So what do we have next? Figure eight should be. Am I right? Third stirrup. Okay. Third stirrup. I probably wouldn't do a third stirrup because 
you're petite, you don't need it. For someone, yes, I do a third stir. Okay, so third stir up. Then I'm going to do a figure eight. Where are we? Figure eight. The ankle lock started like this. I'm going to change the angle just a little bit, go down, but above the malleolus. I go around the forefoot, come up around. There's my crossing of my figure eight, and I Finish just like so. Don't move. And then I'm going to take and do my cover and just like so. So now the inside non-elastic, all of my restrictive movement, my cover is going to just hold those in place and it's comfortable. And then I'm going to start on the outside and do a gentle arch support. I start distal at the ends and the how far forward do I come with my collars? Just to the base of the fifth metatarsal, out this far, no farther. And I did three because it fit. And that's my ankle tape. Walk around. 